to be courteous of those around you and possibly smoke in the back. We'd like to thank Go Visit Darla Jo, who's selling the official Davy Jones um, merchandise here. It's only available at the show, so visit, visit Darla Jo over here to the right. We'd like to thank our Park Board Commissioners, President Stan Miller, Eric Schneider, Bonnie Rice, and Marty Fliga, Pat O'Meara, our Alderman. I can't see you, but we have Alderman Gonzalez, Alderman Laney is here, I know. Um, Alderman Jones' birthday is tonight. He's not able to be with us. Alderman Brian Wilson, Alderman Jerry Tarka, Alderman Nick Manasopoulos, and Alderman Cindy Pollack. Again, thank you guys for approving this wonderful thing. Let's give them a round of applause for allowing this to happen. Woo, Alderman! I'd like to thank all of our city staff, our park district staff, and of course our police and fire ESDA. We couldn't do these things without you guys. Thanks for all your hard work. Of course, we'd like to thank our uh, concert event coordinator, Dennis. Dennis found David Jones for us. Let's give Dennis a great round of applause. Okay, Kelly and City, now we have to give the biggest, the warmest, and the loudest welcome to Davy Jones and the Davy Jones Band. My name is John and I'm here to play the bass. Hi, I'm Felipe. I'm Lowest version of going down every. Mm -hmm. Hello? 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 That was Eric. Not Jim. I'm playing the piano. My name is Aviva, and I'm going to do a little bit of everything. started, I was a young man. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Well, it's uh, nice to see you all, or not see you all, as the case may be. Uh, yeah, well, I'm lucky to be here. It's, if it wasn't for the Chief, I would not be here, actually. I had no idea that you couldn't turn left on a stoplight in Illinois. <laughs> Luckily, he came to, I drove myself down here. He said, uh, you better have a good excuse for not stopping. And I said, well, my ex-wife ran off with a policeman two years ago and I thought that was him trying to give her back, so... Is this on? For those of you that... Uh, yeah, I know, I, I, I look, I look, I look a, a, a lot shorter on television, don't I? But, uh, I mean, that's, uh, for the, yeah, well... Hey, now listen, a lot of you, you know... You wonder where I've been, what I've been doing, I've been traveling. I got four beautiful daughters and uh, I was girls. married for quite a long while and I was thinking about getting married again actually. 
But uh, I'm not quite sure, but actually I said to her dad, I said, can I marry your daughter? And he says, uh, he says, well, um, what do you do? I said, I'm a musician. He said, certainly not. So I said, well, come see one of my shows and then maybe you'll change your mind. So he came to see the show and afterwards he says, you can marry my daughter. I said, what makes you change your mind? He says, you're not a musician. <laughs>
songs like that anymore. You're telling me. Goodness gracious. Well, well, well. I'll tell you, well, I think we sang three songs so far and we've only been on three minutes and twelve seconds. <laughs> those, songs, those songs from the 60s, they're pretty short, aren't they? Yeah. They must have gone mad when Bob Dylan came out with a three minutes and ten second song. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, we've been having a great time. We've been traveling around and, uh, Swimming from here to there, you know. <laughs> it's, it's been quite interesting the weather this last couple of couple of weeks, and uh, but we braved it. We got through it. We're all here tonight to have a good time. I hope. Are there any monkey fans out there tonight? <laughs> good. Okay. All right. Because if you don't sing along, you will be involuntarily entered in the Mickey Dolan's Lookalike contest. And if you win that, you'll have to live with it for the rest of your life. Okay. Mark my words, all right? Yeah. Well, we've had lots of requests tonight, but we're gonna sing anyway, okay? Yeah, we have had lots of requests. Hey, you know something? It's uh, the Monkey Show, if you didn't know, went to about 36 countries around the world. It went all over the place. It was in Europe and Canada and, and obviously here in America and it was uh, Japan, that was unbelievable. The monkeys toured all over the world. Uh, Mickey, Mike and Peter, they're all doing well. They're in the actor's home in Hollywood, yes. <laughs> they're a lot older than I am, you see. Uh, I act not really. I'm still good friends. I went to see them before I left. And I went over to their little room. They all share a little room. And <laughs> I said, Peter, do you know who I am? Mickey said, ask the nurse, she'll tell you. <laughs> Phew, dear me. I'll say. Yeah, well, we have had lots of requests tonight, and we've, we've thought about it, and uh, we're not going to even sing any of the songs that were requested. We're just going to stick to the list. No, no, we had to... Hey, you know, the monkeys had amazing songwriters write for them. People like Carol King and Neil Diamond and Harry Nielsen and Neil Sedaka and Carol Bear Sager and Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart and, and Sears and Roebuck and Lord oh, Taylor oh, and Neil and Mark. Are you sure this is on? Papa James Blue. And Mike Nesmith. Woo-hoo! Woo! I think he was quite interested, involved in, in sort of Introducing country rock to the American market. If you listen down to some of those monkey albums, you'll notice Mike's songs were always had that little country flair to them, which introduced us to many other songwriters. Michael Murphy, he wrote this this song. Oh, oh, well, I was just a loud mouth oh, Yankee. Yeah. I went down to Mexico. I didn't have much time to spend, about a week or so. Man, I like me to get fancy of a girl who loved me so. But still I kept on thinking when the time had come to go. Well, she took me 
garden just for a little walk. I did not know Spanish and there was no time for talk. Nada. Then she told me that she loved me, not with words, but with a kiss. But still I kept on thinking of that train. I could not be. Here or so, and I wanna go back again. And if I had the money, I'd ride a single train. But they say chances come but once, and boy, I sure miss mine. But still, I keep on thinking when I hear that whistle. Yesterday, the week was standing here. I yanked his hat upon my head and your voice in my ear. We talked about the future and all the things we do. I never thought your loving word would frighten me from you. I remember when I threw my coat up on the train. I was sure that you would say I'd not come back again. But now you see with your own eyes, start to realize. You know, 
I was joking about Mickey, Mike and Peter. They're all doing well. They're doing their old thing and they're traveling and touring and writing. And I think Michael's got a new album out. And, you know, we all had these different parts to play on the monkeys. It was, it was such an amazing experience and I'm sure it touched a lot of people's hearts all over the world. And, and I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity as an entertainer and actor to have taken part in such a, such a lovely project. They say the, the good things last and, and, and stand the, te the test of time. And I think the monkeys proves that. You know, when we did the monkeys, I, when I, when, we all had, Mickey was funny and Peter was silly and Mike was serious and I got to kiss the girls. I got, I got, I got stars in my eyes and I fell in love at least twice an episode. It was, in fact, I was uh, back there in the in, in the gym, and I met a whole bunch of people. And this one lady said that when when she was a little girl, she used to keep a picture of the monkeys on her bedroom wall. You know, so I thought that's cute. And then she said that she used to kiss the television when the monkeys was on. Like, now, now that, that was very in the 60s. That was very dangerous because we had those shag those electrified carpets, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I'll go kiss Davy on the television. <laughs> I know, because I got third degree burns from watching I Dream a Genie, you know, but... <laughs> Sorry. But I got to sing pretty songs, like this one. Hey, look what you have done showing me the sun and now it's shining through it's nice to be with you
okay there over there, Dollar? You all right? You'll be okay if it rains again, won't you, under the tent? Really? Well, you don't bang your head on the roof. <laughs> There's a shining light over your head there. That's Dollar over there. She's got, you know, we have these t-shirts and it's, a, it's got a picture of me about 40 years ago on it, right? Because people used to say, you look just the same. Oh no, this lady said to me yesterday, I was walking through the mall, she said, do you know who you are? <laughs> I go, yes. And then I was walking through the airport and some guy says, down the elevator, I was going up down the escalator, he said, Michael Douglas. <laughs> and I went, where? <laughs> where? <laughs> Maybe she's with him. <laughs> Catherine Caesar Jones, yes. We are related, of course, you know, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, and then the other one I got, I got was that Jackie Stewart, some racing driver, and then Desi Arnaz. I said, I hope you mean Junior. Dudley Moore. And then I had Dudley Moore all the time. Hello, you're Dudley Moore. He's dead. <laughs> How can I be Dudley Moore? I was not a crying so I was going to put a joke in the night. Unbelievable. Everyone else is just like, yeah. I, I, wish, I wish I had his money, to tell you the truth. No, it's just, uh, you know, that's it, you know, I mean, everybody has different beliefs about certain things, and I was never a great believer in life after death, but just in case I've left my money to myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't be too careful. Do <laughs> you know where you're going? You don't know, really, do you? Anyway, listen, um, we should carry on here, because, uh, get to the entertainment section of the show. <laughs> We are going to get one or two of you up here to have a couple of songs, okay, later on. Whether you like it or not. No, okay, hey, let's, no, actually, actually, I mentioned all those songwriters, but Mickey, Mike, Peter and myself, we wrote songs. Let's do a Nesmith song. Let's do something off the first album. Anything you want, go ahead. It all sound the same to me. You tell me things I know that I've heard somewhere You're standing in the places And you're staring down two faces That bring to mind traces of a girl The girl that I knew somewhere Let's go wrong on Okay, well there they go. They got scared, now they're gone. 
sitting down. Hey, actually, no, let, listen. I was talking about requests, and I was uh, talking to Mayor Michelle, uh, who you all know, I'm sure. And her son, Zach, was saying that on a TV show, some obscure TV show, there was a, uh, a song that he, um, that he um, hoped that we'd sing tonight. So we, uh, we patchworked it together, and we're going to sing it for you. This is especially going out to Zach. And, uh, and, uh, and each and every one of you, I'd like to dedicate this actually to uh, all you mothers in the audience as well. well you know who you are. And uh, this is a song that I remember hearing at my house back in the, in the early 50s. My mom used to have her little record she used to play and she was also the organist at the church. My sisters ran the youth club and I was in the Boy Scouts. And it was like a pretty community thing, just like you have here in this lovely town. And uh, we're so grateful to be here. Now I've got a girl who is always late. Every time we have a day. But I love her Yes, I love her Yeah I'm gonna go up to her gate And see if I can't get it straight Because I want her The way you're acting lately you makes right, me down. Now you is my baby, baby. It seems a fire in your heart don't burn out. A woman is a creature who has always been strange. Just when you're sure it was it, she goes and makes a change. Yeah, issue is so issue ain't my baby. Oh, that's my baby found somebody new. fed us here while we're here, been looking after us. Everybody's been so kind. It's good to be, to be feeling so warm and so happy. 
As I say, the monkeys went all over the world, but uh, I think America was the key to our success. Uh, I love you too. <laughs> yes. I used to be a heartthrob, you know, and now I'm a coronary, you know, what can I say? <laughs> oh yeah, I was, uh, you know, I did a lot of those TV shows, those wonderful shows like Scooby-Doo meets Davy Jones. That was an Emmy winning performance, that was, that was, that was the first time I was ever taller than my co-star, you know. <laughs> Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Boy Meets World and My Two Dads and oh my goodness what a career I've had no actually let me show you something come on now let's let's be fair it's been, uh, uh, be, before I started on the monkeys right I, I was uh, in New York City and I, I was I took part when I was 15 years old which is almost now 27 years ago <laughs> And I was in a show called Oliver, right? Right. I played the Artful Dodger in Oliver on Broadway for so 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. And then I went into another show and, and it was great. And then the monkeys came along and ruined my acting career. But am I bitter? No. <laughs> but I noticed, you know, I was in the auditorium there, which is a beautiful, beautiful school. You know, it's, it's, it's such a great place when you've got that kind of environment, you're able to learn. And uh, I'm sure the kids here all do so very well because of the, the good feelings that we get here, you know, good vibes all the time we've had since we've been here. It's a great place to learn, you know. We learn every night when we come on the stage and we, we share time with people we've never met, but when we leave, we, we don't feel like strangers anymore. But, you know, as this is a school, and I started all my stuff in school, you know, doing the Christmas nativity and all that stuff. I'd like to go back a little bit, reminisce here a little bit. I'd like to sing you a song from the from the musical Oliver. Never give up your dream, kids, if you want to be in the business. This is a song that I sang on the Broadway stage. Never give up your dream, kids, if you want to be in the business. Come sit to yourself at home. Come sit to yourself. I want to look around for me. I'm really taking a lift. So strong. When I start thinking about that, it gives me goosebumps. You know, that's a great idea. In fact, I went back to uh, my old school in Manchester, England, where I was when I was uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Left when I was 15. And uh, I went to see the school. It was a wonderful experience. I, I stood outside the gates and uh, I just stood up and I looked at it. You know, it looked, it looked more than it did when I was there. But And the custodian, he came out and he said, I knew you'd come one day. And so that really, that really touched me a lot, you know, and then I, I realised 
that it's a good thing to do. So any of you that have, obviously you're here, so you see it. If this was a school that you were at or it was built when you were younger, but it's a great idea to go back and just see how, change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. Because you've got to think from the end, because everything you do affects somebody else, you know? And happiness, hey, there ain't no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. So I look at my life and see what I've done and where I've been. And uh, I have a little song here with a, <laughs> with a few words that might uh, give you an idea the way I feel. It seems like only yesterday. I saw the world, I saw the lights I played a pauper, I played a prince I played a fool in school And I haven't stopped playing since I've done it all from A to Z I want to be free Actually, we were over in Japan just recently. It was unbelievable how kind they were there. I mean, I am buff in Japan, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. hello. They actually dubbed the voices in, you know, and he was like, and they got to me and went, hi, the house of They must have got the director's daughter to do my voice, I'm not sure. That was unbelievable, yeah. In fact, it, uh, polite, we got a standing ovation. We didn't even know it. It was like, hello. <laughs> I'm serious. I won't joke about things like that. All right, hey, let's sing that Neil Diamond song. The, uh, the A Little Bit Me, A Little Bit You. Are you ready for this? Oh, 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 
tears from your eyes I think no, 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 Getting her mother going down here. You'll be in trouble when you get home. <laughs> don't, don't mess about with your mother. All right. Mayor, you won't be getting the story tonight if you don't stop it. Hey, you know, it's really interesting because, you know, it's a, really a cross section we get of people to come and talk about the monkeys and see the shows because we, we play Disney World and we play Vegas and we go all over the place. Quite quietly we do it, you know, we were in Disney World to, for Mother's Day weekend and I gave a couple of, a few shirts away and he said, Davey knows your mother. And I said, in the nicest possible way, of course. <laughs> I thought I was kind of funny myself, but take it any way you want, I don't care. No, but uh, you know, Sonny, uh, you know, I've got four daughters, all girls, okay? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, my eldest is 38, my youngest is 19. Having a 19-year-old is like being bilingual. You can't understand a word, they say. And she's got to that stage now where she's, you know, kind of independent. You know, she's like, I mean, when I was a little kid, if you look at those 16 magazines and Tiger Beat magazine and stuff, I had the most beautiful, lovely, bushy eyebrows, you know. Now there's not much left, but, you know. And my daughter, she's starting to pluck the eyebrows, you know what I'm saying? She's plucking her eyebrows. She started the other day, I went in 10 minutes later, she's plucked them all out, all right? There was nothing left, and she, she drew them in another half an inch higher, as I... So for the rest of the day, she looks surprised. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Hey, Dad. Look at that. Well, I remember... When you're the father of boys, you worry, and when you're the father of girls, you pray, you know? For I was once a boy, and... You know, there is, actually, there's fatherhood in every male, and there's motherhood in every female, and it, and it actually brings a... It's a child that brings it out, so this is to all you mums and dads out there. This is a cute little, pretty little song, and uh, if you know the words, don't sing along, because it puts me off, okay? Please. <laughs> in the palm of my hand You felt so good in it No bigger than a minute How it amazes me You're changing with every blink Faster than the flower blues They grow up all too soon So let them be little Cause they're all Cry. 
and giggle Let them sleep in the maple Ooh, let them be little <laughs> Now I never felt so much With one little tender touch I live for those kisses The prayers and the wishes now that they're teaching me things only a child can see At night when I'm on my knees All I ask is please Let them be little Cause they're only that way for a while Give them hope, give them praise, give them love So in a sense, a precious soul You turn around, it's time to let them go So let them be little Cause they're only that way for a while I was talking about TV shows, but there's one I missed out. And that was a, that those three little words keep calling to me all the time. It doesn't matter where I am, I get going through the airport. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I did one episode of The Brady Bunch. Everybody thinks that I married Marsha. Moved to Ohio. Had six kids. Girl.
dark side of the street To the bright side of the road Where we love us once again On the bright side of the road Sing my song Help me sing my song From the dark side of the street To the bright side of the road Hey, the legend, i got to say, what a great band that we're on before us, right? And we've worked together before, we were, I think, with Roseville or down the road somewhere, and, uh, wow, you know, it's like unbelievable. I, we meet people all the time, you know, when I'm traveling around, I, I run into all kinds of people I've worked with before and I've met and entertained with, and, uh, you know, like, it's all changed a little bit, as you know, because all these guys are getting very old, you know what I mean? Not ours, of course. We're looking pretty good, you know? But, you know, Peter Noon, he, he's singing Mrs. Brown, you got a lovely walker. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. Tony Orlando's singing Knock Three Times on the Ceiling, if you hear me fall. And Roberta Flax, uh, first time I ever forgot your face. And uh, Abba singing Denture Queen these days, you know? Paul, Paul Simon singing 50 Ways to Lose Your Liver. That's... Dear me. <sighs> me, I, I have one Budweiser. I'm over me at this point. I don't yell, I don't tell, and I'm grateful. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank God he went out for that one. <laughs> it's okay, Chief. It's as bad as it gets. Excuse me. Mr. Mayor, where the heck are you going? You do this when she talks too? I bet you don't, mate. I'll tell you what. I've seen her operate, all right? You're no different than any of us, you know. You're right there. That's all right. That's no problem at all. 
Hey, you, you must have noticed that I'm still doing that. You remember that little dance? Sister Wars, Sister Wars, Sister Wars. How won't you say your sister was? Sister Wars, Sister Wars. You know you better keep an eye on her. Eye on her, eye on her. Yeah. Do they run and run? Do they run? She hangs out. She hangs out. You know, Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart were so, so important to us when we were doing the Monkey Show. They put, used to go in the studio and put the tracks down and we used to go in there and after our filming and spend a lot of time at RCA Victor Studios in Hollywood, California, singing songs written by great songwriters like Tommy and Bobby and we're so lucky and I'd like to take you back once again to yesteryear, yesterdecade. Seems a lot more simple. <laughs> I wanna be free. Like a bluebird. Flying by. Like the waves out on the blue sea. If your love has the time. Don't try me Say goodbye I wanna be free Don't say you love me 
I'll tell you what, we have a few more songs to sing for you. And uh, this, uh, actually, you know, the, the, the Monkeys uh, TV show, when we first started, we, we really started and set, sang about three or four songs in every show. And then all of a sudden the producers got wise and they started throwing songs in that uh, they were putting out singles and things like that. It was such an amazing, amazing thing, but as I say, great respect for Mike Nesmith as a songwriter. This is one of his songs that we, we sang all the time on the TV show, because it was one of the only ones we could really play. I tell you no lie. But then after a while, we got really good, and we, we did over 200 concerts. Well, well, we weren't that good. In fact, when we played the national anthem, people from every country stood up. But that was... <laughs> no hot next mouth, no longer lonely. Nights of waiting finally won me. Happiness is all rolled up in you. And now when you as inspiration, I look toward a destination. Sunny bright once before was blue. Sets a man when he's alone. For something's mine when we're together, and with you I know I'll never have to pass the high road or the low.
friends over on the lawn and the house on the left crack another beer. <laughs> Listen, this is a very important song to me. There's a special part for you to sing and I'll let you know when. I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. Six o'clock alarm never rings. But it rings and I rise. Shaking and raises cool and to sing. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it be to what a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Well, you once thought of me. This is your part. We got a female chorus down here. Are you ready? Cheer up, Sleepy G. Everybody! Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? I don't think they've got it. Huh? Yeah! But from the bottom of our hearts, we wish you happiness, long life, and good health. And God bless America! Hey, look, hey, I, I really thank you so much for coming out here tonight. I know. It's all right. But listen, you know something? Uh, it's such a, you know, for us it's family. It's a family feel, okay? Family's alive and well and living in America. And, and I have so many, so many happy memories of my family at home. My mum and my dad. My, my dad used to always be singing to my to my mom and uh, I think that's what got me going and traveling and meeting people but let me just sing this song that my dad used to sing for, for my and I think some of you uh, 
ladies and gentlemen out there, remember this one as a, it's an older song, but I just kind of think it's so sweet. I want to dedicate it to all these ladies that got up here and danced. Mayor Michelle, thank you. Thank you so much. Once I had a secret love that lived within the heart of me. Too soon, my secret love became impatient to be free. And so I told a friendly star the way the dreamers often do. Just how wonderful. So in love with you. Now I shouted from the highest hill. Even told the golden dad, oh dear. At last, my heart's an open door. My secret love is no secret. the golden dad for oh, dear at last my heart's an open door my secret love's no secret anymore my secret love's no secret Loves no secrets anymore.